Well, ladies and gentlemen, because of terrible garbage happening on this end, um, this is going to be post-commentary without any of the music. So sad. This is the part where I tried doing some of the voicing on the original one, but then I gave up, as you can tell. And, um... I tried going back right there because Guy Daigoji was there, so, and I love doing Guy's um, voice and his parts. So it's like, the instant I see Guy somewhere, and then this, read through all the parts here, but if you, when you see what your, um, Eureka is doing, as I said in the original, and I have to say now, all of Eureka's lines in here, based on the situation, remind me of my friend Sai so much. I'm not sh honestly, I would have to say that I would be Aikido, and that, I don't know, uh, no, no, I'd have to say Izzy would be Aikido. No, no, I would have to be Aikido. Still, I would be Aikido, Izzy would be Guy, and then it would probably be something like Mass Effect, and Sai, of course, just like Eureka, would be really, really lost. <laughs> so, anyway. We'll be, yeah, I, I tried again right here. We'll be reaching Mars upper atmosphere soon. Well, oh, that's two weeks since we left Earth, blah, 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 down. <laughs> like I don't want to. Speaking of, um, Sulfur, how do you even do that? How do you have the patience and presence of mind to sit and wade through all of this dialogue and just read through it? I mean, it can be upwards of like 15 minutes of dialogue. Curse you, Ben Presto. Still, I, I just... I am entirely lost on how you do that. Completely and totally. Still, more plot. Plot, 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 AG, plot, 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 awesome, blah, plot, 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 Yoma, plot, 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 guy, die, goji, plot, 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 send out giant robots, explode things, plot, 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 plot. And send out giant robots to explode things. And giant explosion! And this is the part that I thought I'd read because of sad music. I was like, wait, wait, no, no, wait. Giant explosion? I should go back in time. Uh, yeah, I can't believe it. It's only a matter of time. Even if we hadn't deployed the field, nobody could have survived the attack of that magnitude. At least we're alive. It seems you couldn't become heroes after all. No. Get this sucks! <laughs> Yoma, the enemy isn't pursuing. But our regular engine took heavy damage. We're unable to leave the atmosphere without repairing them first. What are we going to do now? Yeah, all this post-commentary. I'm not going to do Australian, man. Because honestly, I could. Honestly, I could totally do Australia. It took me a while to get the accent again, though. And the same thing would happen now. And then I fast forward the instant the depressing music was over. And this is where it begins. Now, you know what? I could. I could just leave you guys as is, but let's see what I can do with post commentary. Because as you know, I'm not very good with post commentary. And I think I know what happened. Um. What happened was, uh, and you know, I'll cover it after I go over this. I personally like to leave, um, when doing this map, I like to leave the Ast Valises as much in that um, inner circle of placement rings as possible, so it's definitely with, so that they're definitely within the gravity way of thingy they need for their energy. Um, also, I like keeping all of them together because separate, they're not really a threat to anybody. I mean, think about it, like, one or two Ast Valises aren't really a threat to anything, really, except maybe grunts. But, um, I know a lot of people when they first play through this would probably leave them as is, but I wouldn't. I don't exactly see the point of those other ones, because yes... Yes, it's possible with a map this huge that enemies are going to come from behind you, and that's what a lot of experienced Super Robot fans would do, but the reality is, it's... You're gonna, at this early stage, you're going to need all of your units against these guys. And it's like, look, the hairy monkeys are running away. 
It's a stalemate. Damn you, A.G., not only did you run away f to Earthlings, but you also joined up with one of their warships. That ship was able to make it this far. We can't underestimate them. Gale. A.G., can you hear me? Well, you, we overlook you smuggling yourself on board one of our... Ships. Sorry, I must have stumbled there. The crime of stealing an SPT is another matter entirely. I can still intervene in your favor. As your brother-in-law, I don't want to think of you. I don't want to think of you as a traitor. If you surrender now, it's not too late to redeem yourself. Forgive me, Gale. I can't. Don't make me suffer, A.G. You're confused. You've deluded yourself into thinking the Earthlings are your friends. But remember your heritage. You were born on the fertile grains, uh, fertile plains of Grados. Gra you're a Gradosian, A.G. But half my blood is that of an Earthling. Yeah, and this is where I rant about Gradosian. I don't know how to say that. But I said that's how I'm going to say it from now on. There's nothing I can do, is there? I'll just have to take you back by force. All units commence attack. Exterminate the Earthlings. Enemy forces are beginning their attack. We have to intercept. Yeah, and you're gonna find me. That's the thing is, out of all the things of SPT Lasner, I actually do like the Lasner itself. Um, and there are certain characters that I do like, but the problem becomes I just, <sighs> yeah. Sorry, I bumped it. Um. Like I said, the, it, the Lasner itself, look at this. This is with Accelerate without anything attached to it. That's 11 movement. This is my fully upgraded Lasner, and you won't know until later if I decide to go that route, and eventually I will, because I'll be going two separate routes um, through the game, but um, on both of my playthroughs, because I'm going to be doing two for you. One as the hero person with the secret super special uber mech and one right now with the Granzen and all that but yeah I have decked this thing out I mean normally a knuckle shot wouldn't do that much but with all of the melee points I've added to AG plus how upgraded this thing is look at that look at that sweet sweet damage that is what I do. I will find, like, I do the same thing in some, like, Fire Emblem games, too. I will find, like, two or three people, and I will just focus on maxing them out. And, and it's just, it's something I do. And why I do it with the, um, customized mechs in here, why I, um, will take things like the Band Presto machines and upgrade them, like, max out as soon as I can, is because they're actually really, really good. They're not... They're not for show, especially the fact that this thing right here, the Granzen, it isn't just a super. It's really not. This thing is... This thing matches what I compare it to the more you play through, because I've seen somebody else play through using this particular machine, and I'm never, you know, let down. It actually works out pretty well. Um, but... Yeah, that's just one thing after another. I also love the Combattler. Uh, and I may or may not use it on this playthrough. I have yet to decide. But as you know, I have um, complained earlier, maybe that was on the video that had no sound. I mean, it says they have ceramic armor. Okay? Now, from what I know of playing through this game, it's not just ceramic armor. It is ceramic metal. It's not like one of those ceramic bowls that you get, no. It is, you know, metal that takes on the property of ceramics or something like that, I don't know. But it's also used by an alien race. So, that's fine and dandy. I'm just... I'm wondering who came up with the idea of making a giant ceramic robot. Who goes into their lab one day and goes, Hey, I am going to go in and I am going to make a giant robot. And this is where I consider changing um, Mazinger Z's theme to Mazinkinzen, as I watch Sulphur call it. But then I decide against it because I want I want that to fit what it is. And trust me, when you see the Mazin Kaiser, and you see how I use it and what I've done to it, because the Mazinger Z is cool and all, and that's fine and dandy. But the Mazin Kinzen, when you see how I use it, you're going to know why I'm actually saving that. I changed that to Awake Zeo Ratmer, though, because I love um, why I changed the Grandson's theme to that, is that's one of my favorite themes in this. And Revenger is okay, and it sort of fits what's going on with um, her 
as you saw, she was her life was basically ruined by a man she was in love with, and now she may or may not be seeking revenge. Um, but that doesn't change much for me because how do I put this? I yeah, this is where I started talking about the Asphaluses. Um I honestly, I understand where she's coming from, and I understand her feelings and such like that. Don't think I'm heartless or cruel or ununderstanding of something terrible like that, but what are you to do, right? In any case, um, yeah, I stopped this next recording because of headache-inducing thing that happens towards the end, and I was already, I already had a headache yesterday, and my headache's gone away now, but... Anywho. Whoa, now you've done it. <laughs> Combat LV will take you on. Super Electromagnetic Yo-Yo. Also known as Chodenji. Yo-Yo. I love saying that. But it's like, okay. What I was referencing to in the last video, and I did say it, I'm just surprised that my mic wasn't working. And I think I figured out what I did with that, and I'll get onto that after this rant, or, no, ramble. Um... The move Big Blast. Now, I've, here it is. I want you to look at where this comes from. Where that missile leaves the robot. Okay? And if you read the description of the last video, you'll get it. After, of course, he gets hit by this. Combat or V's tough, though. It takes more than a few missiles to take this thing down. Okay, check this out. Phallic symbol missile. <laughs> yep, he's delivering his payload deep into the enemy. Isn't mental imagery amazing? The amount of horrible, horrible things it can make you see in your head. In any case, there's no way. I, I'm sure in the anime, it like came out of his stomach or something cool like that. But let's face it, that is not coming out of, like, belt line or stomach. No, that is coming from his groin. That is coming from smack dab center of his groin. It's sort of like the Aphrodite boob missiles, which I, will also, I also made fun of in this video, but... See, this gets me. This right here really got on my nerves. I was talking about how great it is and how nothing could hit it, and that's why I put it there. And then on an 8% chance, he gets hit. <laughs> Curse you, Ben Presto! And that's the funny thing is, I saw just the other day, right before I had recorded this, um, I had seen it happen to, um, I had seen it happen to Sulphur, and I was like, you're kidding me, right? In any case, it, it was just one of those things where you always get so upset about it, too. <laughs> Because it, it, it's one of those things where you put them out there going, there's no way anything is going to hit him, because he's the best in the world, and there's nothing that can take him down. And then he'll up and get hit for no good reason. <laughs> it's, as, it's almost as if he's like, oh god, so tired. Oh, no. oh right, battle. Oh god, I just got hit by something. Yeah, I don't care for the calf missiles that much. In fact, the reason why I'm ax I'm working on his melee more than anything is because um, VMAX is actually a melee attack, I looked. So, in order to maximize the usefulness of the Lasner Mark II, which is what I may or may not be getting on this playthrough, I haven't decided yet. It all depends on whether or not... You know what, Sul Sulfur? That's what I want your opinion on. Do you want to see the great... Zero Rhymer this playthrough, or would you like to see it next playthrough? It doesn't matter to me one way or the other, because either way, I am going to get a series of things that make me ungodly powerful, <laughs> because I've... I mean, let's face it, Domon alone, with how heavily I've customized him and how I ha like to have his parts set up, Domon alone, along with the Mazen Kaiser, those two are all I really need to beat this game. Well... No, I also need my customized machine. But you un you know what I mean. It's like, when you're there, you don't stop to think about it. But, yeah, boob missiles. And this is where we get headache zone. 1 H P. Twice. Twice. Now you have two times to do it to beat my record. In fact, I might use these videos as, like, a way to set a world record. The amount of times in a super robot game any man has left something at 1 HP. 
I guarantee I would be the winner. <laughs> because I do not know of anyone else, anyone at all, who, who, who has the terrible, terrible band presto curse where they get they get these simple grunt machines left with one HP. I don't I haven't met a single other person that ever gets one HP on a common enemy. That's part of the reason why I felt the need to do post commentary on here. It's because I knew that was on here. Also, you're about to see Aphrodite and her bubble brain go away. I sung a lot through this one, and I, I'm actually really sad that that got lost, because I was singing a lot to the music, and it was pretty cool. <laughs> if only I could recover the audio from that. <laughs> oh well. Que sera sera. Anyway, why, while it's closing down, I want to talk about why I don't have audio. What I think I'd, I did was to avoid um, it defaulting to my internal mic when I wanted to record using my headset like I am now. Um, I actually disabled my internal mic, but I forgot to re-enable it when I was recording here. So I got really, really, I got really, really messed up. Because basically I was trying to get um, Age of Chivalry to run. Now I have yet to turn I have yet to change the settings to increase my performance and then try it but I actually got kicked off a server on Age of Chivalry because of my ping being too high that's right I was lagging so bad that the game went you know what you know just lower your ping and come back later because I know people whose ping is really high and it's like it dropped because you know your internet couldn't keep up it wasn't somebody else dropping you in this case it was the game itself saying nope sorry can't let you be on here so yeah and I know what you're thinking she's one of your healers you should be upset and I'm one of those people where I know people that would like restart a chapter if somebody got shot down but I just don't care enough. I, I mean, the Aphrodite A isn't even that, you know, impressive or anything. It's just there. Yeah, uh, this is where I start ranting about the one HP. One HP, and I'm like, okay, trying to figure out how to pull it up. I mean, look at these stats. Look at them. Look at them. One HP. One HP. It's just... It, it drives me mad. It makes me rip out my hair. It drives me wholly insane. Because it's just, it's impossible. It makes no sense. It, it, this thing is a piece of scrap metal. And here's where I rant about how something, okay, af after that one HP, it doesn't matter if you did like two damage or even one damage, that thing will explode violently after that point. Okay, so why isn't it collapsing under its own weight, huh? There are machines, I understand, that will keep fighting if they're on their last legs and thus damage themselves and thus, you know, collapse. But they're, this right here is still working at a peak efficiency like it's fresh off the assembly line. Well, I'll be seeing you later, guys. Bye.